Over the years, I've tried to grow several varieties of stone fruit and all have been plagued with disease. For example, if I tried to remove all the black knot infected branches from my plum, there would be very little left. I sprayed and sprayed and still the peaches all got rot fungus long before they ripened. Are there disease resistant sown fruit varieties, even at the cost of being less productive or having smaller fruit? And this is from Martin in Knoxville. So Mr. D, there are some resistant varieties out there, though, right? That you know of? Tell me about it. Where, you tell me one. Surely they I do not know somewhere, of right? Maybe somebody's working on something. If you if you if you can tell me <laughs> a, a, a peach plum or nectarine that's resistant to brown rot, I, I would like to know, and I will plant one. But no, I have never seen never. a a variety of peaches, plums, or nectarines that's resistant to brown rot. Hopefully, somebody's working on that. Yeah. And the nectarines are even more susceptible to brown rot than peaches because the peach fuzz, the fuzz on yeah. a peach is a physical, uh, actually it, it protects the peach a little bit. Poor plums and poor nectarines don't you have know, that, you know, don't have that mm -hmm. and so they really, really get hit hard. I mean, I understand, uh, you know, sprayed and sprayed and sprayed until mm -hmm. have a problem. Uh, the fungicides are preventative in nature primarily and that means you keep a preventative coat of fungicide on that plant. Uh, Hopefully when a spore, the, the spores are transported by wind, when they land on that leaf or that you know stem, there will be fungicide there that will kill it. That's mm -hmm. what you're trying to do when you keep a cover spray on a peach plum nectarine, uh, yeah. in the stone fruits. And uh, you can go out there and spray, like go out there spray today, it rains, rains. tomorrow, yeah. it'll erase that application and you've got to go back and do it again. And you've got to spray every seven to 10 days. If you get a week, that it rains every day, oh, that's like we've had several in the last few weeks. Uh -huh. It yeah. rains two or three days. Those two or three days, you, it's impossible to keep that protective coat on there. And those spores are flying around in the rainstorms yeah, rain, and all that. Rain. And so you can yeah. get infected Man. even if you follow a very strict spray schedule. So, and you know, and to add insult to injury, uh, even if they did come out with a variety that was resistant to brown rot, the plum curculio would yeah. come in and, so and the worm else. would, would <laughs> take right. you out. So I, you know, I just do not recommend growing peaches, plums, and nectarines on, in a home garden. Uh, I've tried it, mm -hmm. and I've not been successful. So I, you know, and oh. I'm and I'm willing to pull out the big guns on it. You know? <laughs> wow! And I, it's, it's just, still not been successful. It's just I, I really right. feel for the commercial growers. I, you right. know, I feel their pain. And then if they're successful and get, if they get a good crop, years that are dry and, and you know you don't have a lot of uh, uh, you know heavy rains and you know real wet seasons, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not as pro much of a problem as, as the years that are we have a lot of rain. Right. And so you know there are bad years and there are good years. We hope you loved the video. We would love for you to ask more questions. Be sure to leave those questions in your comments.